What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Starter Camp, checking in one time for the one time, and I'm back again with another video. As you can see from the title, we are doing a mod on my brand new 2020 Ram 1500 Limited. Um, this is gonna be the first actual modification that I'm doing on my Ram 1500. Um, and I just wanted to share it with y'all. So one of the mods that I'm doing is gonna in include the exhaust. You hear my son in the background, I'm actually making him breakfast. So he's kind of like, hey, breakfast is ready. Um, but it's the exhaust, right? One of the mods I'm doing is the exhaust. So I'm gonna just show y'all how this is gonna go because this exhaust is gonna come off of the car. Well, it's not gonna come off of the car, but it's gonna, this exhaust is not gonna be the same exhaust that, that you'll see at the end of this video. So I'm giving you the first look at it with the cold start um, and what it sounds like before the modification. All right, here we go. So here's a cold start. Brand new. So yeah, so you, you, you hear the, the sound in the cab that it sounds kind of like nothing right now, right? There's no drone, there's no overhead drone um, on the inside of the car. Um, oh, that's cool. It just turned on and said Ram all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, you can hear that, you hear the sound of that, and you like the way that sounds, that's great. Right, um, I think I took it the wrong way because I'm in so much traffic right now. Um, trying to find the back roads to get to my custom shop now. Um, I've honestly been doing a lot of just research on Rams. This is actually my first Ram truck. So I'm just learning, you know, about the different tricks of the trade and um, you know, what Ram truck really all has to offer. Um, I know it tows 11,000 tons, which is amazing. You know what I mean? Like, like that's, that's great. That's great to have, um, to be able to tow a half a ton with this type of vehicle. It's, it's great. And, um, so yeah, what I've been doing basically is just learning as much as I can about the Ram, about how it, you know, it's the top of its class, you know, as far as the uh, half ton pickup trucks are concerned. Um, I'm doing a lot of, you know, just testing and trial, trial, trial and error with just, you know, different, different videos I've been watching. Like a lot of you guys are making these, uh, shout out to all the, the Ram, the Ramley, the Ramley family in, uh, in, on Facebook and on YouTube. Like a lot of guys are making um, great videos to pretty much give you an insight on what to buy or what to get when you're shopping around for your Ram 1500. So shout out to you guys. I'll post a couple links in the description that uh, that I used as reference for this video. Um, but the thing is about this about this truck that I really really want to tell you guys about is that it's so smooth and it doesn't even really feel like you're driving a truck. Um, I mean, other than the fact that you're off the ground. Um, you, you really just feel like you're driving a, a, a standardized SUV, you know what I mean? And I think that's, I think that's dope, you know what I mean? Because the, there's no wobble or anything like that. Um, the, the, the truck bed, uh, it's, it's empty right now, but I'm assuming that once I start loading that thing with some, 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 uh, some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some towage, that it's going to still feel exactly the same, you know, because this truck is like, I, like I said, I'm telling you, like it's, it's literally it's literally the smoothest truck I've ever driven. And I've driven a truck before, I've never owned a truck before, but this is the smoothest truck I've ever driven um, without feeling like you're actually driving a truck, you know? So I've seen a lot of them on the road, so that's actually a good sign. That means that a lot of people like them, you know? Um, I haven't seen a lot of them in this package. Now, <coughs> the night package is one of those packages that you, you gotta see to believe and um you know driving it is a lot more comfortable when you uh have tent because i feel like 
that's a necessary thing to have on a, on the truck or on a car period is you know you gotta have some tint because during those summer days the sun beaming through your window it's like what what else can you do other than and this thing has some real get up and go y'all i mean like zero to 60 and so less than in less than you know two minutes zero to 60 in less than 30 seconds um i said less than two minutes i don't know why i said that but this thing really does have some get up and go another one's actually about to pull up next to me i think it's a laramie let's see what kind it is so i'm so mad i stopped recording when we started talking i started talking with this gentleman the man is literally giving me his his spiel on having a 2019 compared to having a uh having a uh 2020 now of course it's october 2020 and you know i'm enjoying my limited ram 1500 um in october of 2020 and <clears throat> i recently watched the video last night that showed some some tidbits and some in insight on 2021 um so i'll leave a reference to that video right here but if you guys are planning on getting a Ram 1500, do not, I repeat, do not get lesser than the 2020 option. I'm telling you. The man that I just pulled up next to, here, here he goes right here, guys. See, he's in front of me now, if you can see that. But the man that I just pulled up next to, he specifically told me that um, having a uh, non-blacked out edition was the only thing that kind of like is, is kind of like making them want to go back to the light and say hey upgrade me <laughs> so I'm telling you get the blacked out edition and you can get them in any color in the 2021 versions which is dope like you can get a burgundy blacked out edition you can get a white black uh, white blacked out edition um, which I would call no race <laughs> uh, but I mean you can definitely get a murdered out blacked out edition which is the all black edition like the one i have and and i honestly am satisfied i can't lie i'm satisfied with the one that i have i love the package i love everything about it um yeah and now the one thing that i didn't love about it is back there as you can see the title cover now that title cover is it is good for you know, standardized circumstances. Now, if you're in my position, whereas you carry around a lot of different things that are high value, you would want, you know, maybe even to get the Ram box, you know what I mean? Because the Ram box, of course, has a lock and key on it. Um, but me, myself, I decided to go with a better upgraded version of the cover that I have now so that I could really, really protect um, my things that will be in my truck, you know, because I feel like that cover, if I'm asleep on a, you know, rainy day or, or if I'm knocked out after uh, a, a meeting or a venue or a club situation, somebody will break into that thing and just cut it open and just figure out how to break into it. I am not going for that. So I decided to get something else and I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. So that's what the new cover is gonna look like. Um, I basically, I'm just going with the, the backflip, uh, well-protected version of it. Um, it's said that you'll be able to stand on it. I will definitely prove that test to you once I get it installed. Um, shout out to my guys over at Monster Customs. This is actually the first job I'm doing with them. So it's kind of like a premeditated shout out because I don't know how well their work is, but I've seen they had great reviews online. So it's like, hey, Great reviews mean let's pull up on them and see what it looks like. So we're here in Atlanta. So Monster Customs has has done and serviced a lot of people that I even know. So I felt like they were, you know, they should be good enough to withstand the test of uh, services done to a, 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 a limited Ram truck. And um, yeah, I have a British speaking Siri. 
didn't notice that. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go get this thing suited and booted with some tent, some new tunnel covers, um, and some exhaust. All right, next time you hear her, she will be suited and booted. Yo, Dirty, what's poppin'? It's your boy Starter Camp, taking it one time for the one time. So yeah, the other day, I showed y'all what it sounded like, um, the Ram, the Ram 1500, what it sounded like without the, um, without the exhaust. So today, just as an addendum video to that day, as you can see, I got my backflip ton of cover. Okay, and I got the tent on the windows. I mean, you can't really see that right now because the sun is out, but you can see that there's tent on the windows. And um, I got the uh, got the exhaust, got the uh, direct fit um, outlaw exhaust by Flowmaster. So we're gonna crank it up, hear how it sounds, and see what the difference is, and if um, if y'all feel like it should be better or if it sounds different let me know in the comments i want to know from y'all y'all let me know whether it's a good sound or it's a bad sound i'm not really privy to it because like i said before this is my first truck so i'm going off what y'all tell me all right so here we go so here's a cold start 